What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and what you see here is my brand new Gourmet egg cooker. Now shout out to Gourmet for sending this out to me to review to you guys. I needed a new egg cooker and perfect timing. This is my old egg cooker y'all. It's been through a lot. I'm going to give it to Goodwill later on today. But my purpose of this video today is to put y'all on on egg cookers. Um, a lot of my new subscribers and viewers maybe never even heard of an egg cooker before or maybe saw one in action. This is, to me, the easiest and most simplest way to make a hard-boiled egg. And we're going to show you in a few minutes. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm fully aware that we can boil our eggs on the stovetop traditionally. Of course, we could use our pressure cooker using the 555-666-777 method. It's a whole bunch of methods cooking hard-boiled eggs in your pressure cooker. We're aware of that. Some of you guys didn't know we can also air fry hard-boiled eggs, believe it or not. We could even put it in my June oven right here. Put the egg in there and somehow it just knows. Hit a whole egg. 24 minutes, it's done. Guys, even 24 minutes is too long. <laughs> See that? Turn off June oven. Okay. But none of those ways are faster or easier than to use an egg cooker. So let's get into it. First, I want to mention that it does come with a long cord. Three prong, but very long cord for an egg cooker. I appreciate that. Hey guys, so this is the base right here, which cannot be removed. Um, this is where you're going to pour water in, and we'll get to that a little later, where steam is going to develop and cook your egg, your hard-boiled egg, and other things. All right, guys, to put this together, guys, put this piece down that protects the egg from touching the water because it's going to get really hot. We just want the steam. Then you put this piece on top of there like so. And that keeps the eggs in place, like a placeholder for the eggs. And you put this piece on. And this kind of keeps the steam in-house before we put on the top. Then, um, if you are looking to do other things, which I'm going to show you in this video, you put this piece on. If I could get it on there. There you go. And then you put the top on. Oh, actually... These are the pieces that would go on top here. And you could put like an over easy egg or you make a fried egg and put it in there. Or take these off, maybe warm something up, leave it on here with the steam. You know, something pretty much already cooked. You just want to warm it up with the eggs. You can do that. And then you just take your cover and put it on top of everything. Like that. But honestly, guys, the reason I got an egg cooker is to do hard-boiled eggs. Everything else, I have other gadgets to do. Most importantly, guys, this comes with a measuring cup, and this um, will tell you how much liquid you need to put in, what you're making. Usually for hard-boiled eggs, the way I like it, I like them hard, like not, not all the way done. I just fill it up to the top of water and just throw it in there. But most importantly, it has this little prick thingy here, and it, the manual says on all egg cookers to like pierce the eggs on the top with this needle so that it doesn't like explode. I personally don't do that. And it one or two have exploded like maybe once or twice after using it like, I don't know, 15, 20 times. But, you know, I, I do want to do it right as the manual says, at least on this video. But I'm saying in real life, I don't do that. But for this video, I will. Before I put my eggs in, I'm going to put my water in, and I, like I said, I just fill the measuring cup all the way to the top with water, and tap water. And now I'm going to puncture my eggs on the top so they don't crack allegedly. So just go like this, boom, little hole like that, I don't know if you see it, 
and boom, that's all you need to do. All right, guys, got them in there, and that's six. So we could do six hard-boiled eggs at once. And we could do batches if you need to do more. Go ahead and get this piece on there, guys. Boom. Some of you like all types of eggs, so I got you covered. Don't worry. Some Pam. Go ahead and crack our egg. Some of y'all said, you know, Doug, you know good and well we don't eat our eggs like that. Shout out to all I'm gonna throw some Gouda cheese up in there. Something like that. All right, now all we gotta do is put the cover on. And I don't know if I mentioned this, hard boiled eggs in this machine take about 15, 16 minutes. So we got it plugged in, we're ready to turn it on. I didn't mention what warm, um, the warm function does. When, when you finish cooking anything in here, you could put it on warm and it keeps it on like a keep warm setting. So it'll turn on and off to maintain that temperature in this device I think that's pretty cool so when I'm gonna put it to heat and basically when the water dissolves on the bottom it will uh, make a, some type of alarm chime noise to let me know that it's done and then I switch it to off or warm whatever I want and I'm good so let's do that I'm just gonna switch it all the way to heat all right so in the next like 45 seconds or so, you should probably see some steam brewing and um, I'll let you know when the alarm goes off. So let's, let's see how it, how it steams up in the next like 45 seconds to a minute. So after about a minute, this is what it looks like and sounds like. The steam escapes from that little slit right there. Cooking up nicely, guys. All right, guys, that's how it sounds when it's done. These are the eggs. As you can see, nothing is wrong with any of them. Nothing exploded. It's all good. Guys, I let like, I don't know, five minutes pass because you know they're going to be hot. It's still hot, but I'm just going to attempt to open one. Now, of course, you could do a, uh, a cold ice water bath thingy. Whatever you want to do, but I just want to show you that these are done. See? Done. Get like me, guys. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. This could be you guys. Shout out to everybody with their gourmet food stations. Or whatever indoor grill you have. You saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. I put some of my tiger sauce on my eggs. I like to do that. If you haven't had tiger sauce, you should try it. It's good. So let's get a bite. You got it? Mmm. Yep. That is good. Let's get some bacon, y'all. You first. Got it? Mm hmm. Indoor grilled bacon. Have some butter toast with me. Got it? We're going to overtime, y'all. I haven't made an egg salad sandwich in a minute. Now, go ahead and make yours the way you like to make yours. 
add some salt, add some black pepper now. Go ahead and put red onions in mine. Onion powder is good too, but you know. Some people add parsley. I'm going to add some cilantro to mine. I don't have any parsley, but I have some cilantro. And that's going to be absolutely fantastic. And finally, we got some Duke's Mayo, guys. I'm just going to eyeball it. I can get this thing open. All right. And we're just going to mix it up and put more as we need. Oh, yeah. We're ready. We're going to take the first bite of my lunch that I'm going to eat in two hours together. And we'll close out this video. And I'm fully aware some of you guys would put some sweet relish on there. But, nah. I'm good. It's only 11 a.m., guys, so still breakfast time. So we're just going to take one bite, and in two hours, I'll finish it. I'll dust this off. So you first. You got it? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. That's too good. And whether you get this gourmet egg cooker or whatever egg cooker, um, you're going to get some form of a cookbook. And this one's pretty cool. It's got some cool stuff in there. Stuff that I don't even think you can make in this machine. So, look forward to that whenever you get your egg cooker. And like I said, it does other things than just eggs. You can, whatever you want to steam that can fit in this machine, you can do it. So, anywho, guys, let's wrap this up. I hope this video was informative to you guys. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description to a egg cooker because this gourmet is not available on Amazon at the moment. When that changes, I'll put it there. You can go to the gourmet website and pick it up as well. But um, I think that was like for 60 bucks. So, the egg cookers, you can get between 20 and 30 bucks all day, every day on Amazon. So I'll put a, a decent one on there for you to got for you guys to check out because I believe anybody that loves hard boiled eggs, this is a must have. Also, I might add, sometimes I bring this to hotels and travel to make a quick breakfast as well. I'll have some I'll have this and I'll bring some um ready cooked bacon so I could pop that in the microwave. Usually the hotel has a uh, microwave and bam. You get you some bread or whatever, and you got breakfast. Just saying. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out. Catch you on the next video.